Well, good to see this young fighter make the walk here tonight. His takedowns are really some of the best in the game. So explosive, great technique behind them. Certainly, you see shades of his collegiate wrestling career. His opponent's got to watch out for those, but even an opponent with good takedown defense will succumb to this guy's shots. No telegraph behind him. When this guy wants to take you down, more often than not, he succeeds. This guy is an arm bar and a leg lock specialist. In every fight that you see him in the octagon, he looks to secure a limb and finish with a submission. separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach. Now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 57 wins. 11 losses and a one draw. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Alexei, the boa constrictor, Alina. And now we can see his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 254 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, USA, Iceman. All right, Griffin rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time, and it is gonna go down right now. And here we go. Well, a lot of intrigue surrounding this one for Isaac Frost here tonight. How aggressive will he be early on? Some gas tank management, perhaps. Will that give him pause to really go for broke early? How focused will he be on defending the takedown early? And how soon will Isaac Frost land one of those patented power shots? All eyes on ice cold here tonight, Joe. Oh, double jab. All right, first round is underway. We'll see how long it takes for him to find a home for these patented powerful overhand punches. Always a big weapon of his on fight night. We'll see how soon he can get it going tonight. Inside leg kick lands and immediately a mark on his opponent. That strike will count. Olenek's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Great exchanges. As Frost gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Lands a punch. Three minutes to go in the round. Good right hand. Oh! <laughs> Try 
try to establish that jab. What a wild exchange! And now starting to snap off that jab. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Oh, he connects there. He blocks the punch. He got tagged there. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Gotta find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. Oh, now he has found his timing. He is doling out punishment here. Oh, Linus got the double underhooks here on the clinch now, Joe. Let's see what he can do with it. Forty-five seconds to go here in round one. And he connects there. Very nice. Tying up in the clinch here. He's got full control here, double underhooks. And he transitions to his back. Looking for the choke. He drops down for it. I believe he's in all kinds of trouble now. Round two straight ahead. Submission attempt here late in the round. There's the horn. So round is over, saved by the bell to some extent. Joe, it looked like he was really going to be submitted there potentially, but the end of the round comes. Back to the stools they go. Now you should smell blood. You almost had him out this time. I want you to... Let's see some of the action here. Let's take a look at it again. And here we see it from another camera angle. Brittany Palmer doing her thing as usual. All right, round two. Short punch there. And he's looking for that left. Oh, strong punch there by Alexi Olenek. He just caught, got caught with a left hook. Can we show you the total strikes? Oh, he landed a right hand. Olenek's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. to the head there, Joe, and he would be wise to get his head off of that center line. It's almost as if he's moving straight into that punch. A nice jab by Olenek. Oh, there's a leg kick. Nice punch there by Isaac Frost. Olenek gets caught with that punch. Hand speed, man. Well, the offense has been there. He has landed some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than just one strike at a time. He has been landing that uppercut at an alarming rate. That is absolutely right, Joe Rogan. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Under two. Oh, oh, it's it's it. This could be it. The man has his chin been tested early. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Inside control. It looks like he's got the submission. He's looking for the inverted triangle from side control. What he wants to do here is he wants to rotate his hips trap the arm, then he wants to step over his opponent's head, slide his leg behind his opponent's head, lock it up behind the back of his knee, stunning, and stunning, and he really made it look easy. 
He got the choke for the tap. So yeah, it came down to tap out or go to sleep, and his opponent chose the former. The choke was clearly sunk in deep, perfect technique, and ultimately that is one of the bigger wins of his career. He gets it done by submission here tonight. And let's look at it from a different angle. Reverse triangle, perfectly executed for the submission victory. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. All right, the official Ladies decision is in. Here once more, the veteran voice, voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. At four minutes, six seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a reverse triangle. Alexei, the power constrictor.